these bright young Congolese students are used to tests. In a few months, they hope to put their country through one. Kinshasa is an opposition stronghold. Young people have played a visible role in protests in the capital seeking the resignation of President Joseph Kabila and say they want to be a force for change. President Kabila, if he has to resign, that begins by acknowledging it. He himself, he knows he has already finished his term. He has even gone over. The poll, originally scheduled for 2016, is now slated for December. The two-year delay has seen additional voters, like 19-year-old Richard Baku, come of age. It's important that we get a new president that is going to serve the people in order to create jobs so we can have a better life. But the ruling party says it's confident it will corner this important demographic. After all, among the nation's top politicians, Kabila, at 46, is one of the youngest. It's a party that empowers youth, and it's a party that has a rather clear vision of the role youth should play in the development of our country. But some young voters already say they plan to let this vote pass them by. This election stuff, it doesn't interest me. I find that even when we vote, there's too much cheating and fraud. I'd rather not vote this year. Better, she says, to keep her head out of politics and in her books. Anita Palvioe News. Kinshasa.